Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be a really colorful, really fun palette look using the Aura and Out palette from the tie-dye collection from ColourPop. Now, I did buy this myself. It finally arrived. I forgot it even got marked as shipped. I kind of forgot about it for a minute, not gonna lie, because it kind of took a little bit to get here. But this is the inside of the palette. It has creamy yellows, a matte white, one glitter shade, two greens, a bluey minty green and two blue shades in here so overall this is the one out of the three palettes that came out of the collection that i was super super stoked about if you've not seen the in the trance video we did it's the purple palette from the collection i did already review that as well as shot a bunch of the eyeliners and stuff and one of the highlighters super shock highlighters came with a collection so yeah that's today's look is the green one we're not gonna do the pink one i only have those other two the pink one didn't really hit my interest as much as this one so without any further ado you guys let's go ahead and get to today's video we'll start off some swatches before we get to the actual look all right as a quick reminder if you're not subscribed to my channel already i'd greatly appreciate it if you did that this palette retails for 12 dollars. it's a little mini nine pan palette and this is the swatches so they're all very pastel i hope they show up on camera because the bright lights are very bright but this is what they look like. We have our white matte shade starts here. We have a glitter shade. We have a couple really strong mattes like this one. And then I'll have a super shock as the last thing is our only super shock formula. But as you can see, some of our regular shimmers look nice. I don't think this shade, which is like a creamy kind of color, swatches the best. However, as a whole, it's a really cute pastel look. So let's get started making this look on our eyes. All right, hello guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my eyes primed with a really light base since we have a really pastel-y palette going on. I do find these a little bit hard to open sometimes, but this is the Aura and Out palette. Fresh and clean. For me, I love green eyeshadow, but I never go for really, really light greens. Also this pan, I keep pushing it back in here, um, but the magnet's not very strong on it. It kind of like wants to dip out on me. So hopefully it doesn't fall out, but I'm gonna take a little more dense packing you brush this is a sigma e39 and let's start off with hmm because i wish this was matte if this was matte i would do like a blue inner portion and then greener outer portion but since it's not and these are both matte yellows i'm gonna go for eurovision which is this kind of creamy shade. It's like a matte with some glitter reflex in it. I'm gonna pack it in our inner crease. I get a lot of comments when I do like these little mini palette reviews and stuff that I always do the same look, which is different colors. But I feel like this kind of go-to look where you have two different kind of colors in the crease, we darken up the outer corner as well, and we do two different colors in the lid, gives me the best chance of being able to test multiple colors and the quality of a palette, so. You know, if I just did a halo eye, which requires like three colors, I'm not testing nearly as much of the palette as I think I should be. So this is our yellow in there. It's not the most vibrant in the world, but I'm going to add the solar hour, which is kind of the orangier shade and kind of build on top of that color. Okay, so I found both of these shades kind of powdery, but nothing extraordinarily bad. This is the second color built up. It's definitely more golden now. I wouldn't say it's the most vibrant thing in the world, but it's still keeping true to the pastel. I just wish it was a little darker on the eyes like it is in the pan. So let's do another blending brush as an E38. Hmm, let's just go for it. Let's do Fresh Cut, which is the lime green matte right in the center. And I'm just gonna pack this on the outer half of our crease. That's already really vibrant. Ooh, that one's cute. Okay, so our green is up there. It looks super, super good. Like, this is a really pretty green color. The only conflict I have right now is do I want to use this bluey green or do I want to use the greeny green for my green shimmer? Okay, since we don't have any other mattes to work with, we use all the mattes except the white one. I'm going to clean off the brush and take the little white Young Love matte shade and just dust it under our brow bone. It'll help blend the edges and sit under our brow bone because we still have primer there. And then we're going to get into our shimmers. So for the shimmers, mm, this one looks too subtle, so I'm not gonna use the blue. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Soul Sister, which is the more mint one that wants to fall out of the pan. Even though it doesn't match our yellow, I don't care. And I'm gonna take Healing Heart on the outer lid. So inner lid, outer lid. I'm just gonna do it with my finger. 
This is what they look like swatched out. The bluey or green one feels kind of like a wet super shop texture. So let's pack that on. And then the green one is called Healing Heart. Well, that's swatched so cute. Oh, and it's so vibrant. I'm also gonna add this a little bit to the crease since it is a matching color. But look at that. Mm -hmm. I know I made a little bit of a mess under here. It'll be okay, but on the lid, the super shock texture is more wet looking, but less vibrant and like metallic. However, this green though, which is like a regular shimmer metallic formula is gorgeous. Like it's just stunning and vibrant and beautiful. I will say that my crease colors are already fading. So I'm gonna take my blending brush and touch them up real quick. So I just swatched the blue baby blue shade. I thought it was a shimmer because there's a lot of glitter in it. However, it feels like a matte. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dust this under our lower lash line with an E55 shader brush from Sigma. Yeah, it's a matte. Um, it is very, very pastel though. So on top of my foundation and powder, I don't know how much it's gonna pick up, but it definitely looked like a shimmer at first. Okay, so this powdery blue shade is a matte, just has a lot of glitter in it. It is so much kickback in the pan, like so much fell out everywhere. This is what it looks like under the lower lash line. It's subtle, I might add a little bit extra, but it's very, very, very powdery. But I'm happy with the top lid, so I'm gonna pop on some mascara lashes, finish on my face. We'll use one of the pastel liners we tried out in the last video, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished look. What do we think? I added I tried to use the new fruit fetish. What is it called? Fruit fetish stay put bright eyeliner. This is the pink, pink or the berry one from Milani. Um, and I don't like the tip on it. So it just, it was a really, it's a, this one looks better. Really weird wing situation. So I added giant lashes. I also added the gel liner from the fresh set that came with the tie dye collection icebreaker and I ordered this lip color. It's the Lux lip. It's like velvet. It feels very super soft and nice on the lips. It's called casual dress. So that's the other thing I ordered with the thing. I also ordered this Your Trip Super Shock thing, which is the pinker one. We tried the gold one and the purple palette. I can't get this thing open though. Like these are really hard to open. Like the little mini palettes are sometimes hard to open, but these are like these little clamshells. Some are difficult. So this is the pinkier one I thought I could use as a blush, but I swatched it and it just looks like a regular highlight shade. It just looks like a light pink with some glitter in it. So I didn't use that for today's look, but this is our finished eye look up close. I think it's really pretty. It's a lot going on. I was gonna try to take like a close up selfie for Instagram, but I'm gonna have to do this eye because this wing looks better and it's still a lot going on. But overall, the look I think came out really, really cute. I had zero idea what look color to do with this, but as far as the palette, like what I think of the palette, I think it's really lovely. I do think the matte shades in here, other than the green, are really powdery. Um, I'm not a fan of the one glitter shade, that's why we didn't use it. But overall, it's a really, really cute palette. I love the shimmers. The Super Shock looks really nice and wet, not as pigmented as the regular shimmer formula like the green we used but really lovely and overall i'm very happy with the look i will maybe like this a little bit less powdery but overall i think you packed on the lid it probably look really cute so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i do have a color pop color pop code if you want to use it it's five bridget saves you five dollars off 20 or more doesn't work on collabs i don't get any commission from it it's just for you but like five dollars off off five dollars off i use my own code to buy this stuff so anyways thank you guys so much have a great day wherever you are let me know what you think of the palette in the comments section down below as well as what you want to see next for me to review and i'll see you guys later bye hey guys editing bridget here and i have a quick question for you because i don't like to film things unless i know you guys are going to want to see it so I have the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. It's so pretty. Do you guys want a video on it? Because I didn't know if I could do a full video on just the blush palette or if it's too late to review. But I can't stop, like, looking at it and stuff. So I didn't know if you wanted a video for it. I was thinking I could do, like, swatch all the blushes on my arm, try, like, two different ones on my cheeks, maybe, do, like, a little on the nose, and maybe do, like, an eye look with the blush palette. I don't know if, like, an eye look with the blush palette would even make sense for the video. But, like, I would want to make a full video on it.
but do you guys want to see it if not just let me know i'm open to whatever but yeah just let me know down below because i love that and i'm also still contemplating getting the morphe palette the coca-cola one when it comes to ulta next week so if you guys want that too to like to see that let me know just i want to know what you guys want to see